What's up guys, our tail boy here. Today we're doing another video. Let's see you could not really know. So today we're going to be reviewing of the Victorinox Yeo Man. So maybe I'm So, let's begin. Wait, Artillo Boy, um, do you know you basically... Wait, that looks similar. You know, I thought you uh, re actually reviewed it called the, uh, the Victorinox Explorer. Well, as you could definitely know, I was completely wrong about this version of the model, as you could probably know. And understandable i basically kind of made that mistake of all things so when i first initially basically made that video you know uploaded there so someone actually came in and actually says um no this is the you man as you could probably know and i think uh thank the person who commented on there for basically to knowing of oh i basically kind of messed up so my bigger mess up of all things. So I decided to look on this one, and it turns out, yep, it's uh, there's a difference between it. So the Yeo Man is basically have like three layers, which you could probably know. Yeah, well, the Explorer definitely had like a third, had four layers, which including the a smaller blade of all things. So that was basically. Kind of my mistake. And believe it or not, this one with the Boy Scout logo on there, that's the first version of it. And they actually, and you could probably know, they mistaken this guy, the U Man, as a, as the Explorer because they actually used this one, or the U Man model, than the, than the original BSA, um, the original BSA Explorer. As you could probably know, that's, uh, basically kind of can be very confusing about it so we got the so we actually got things like the very small like flathead screwdriver and it was the really interesting part this one actually goes nested inside of the uh, corkscrew you could probably know that one the uh, the little pick as you could probably know, a little plastic pick on that, a little tweezers, or little plier or tweezers, and then this one right here, which I'm kind of was like thought myself is this must be like a pen or some, I don't know what it is. It feels like one of those DS like tablet things or one of those pen things that the DS or does have. Um, when I got this guy, I really did not know what it is. My first assumption was, of course, the, basically the Victorinox Officer Susie. You could probably know that one. Until I looked it up, probably dug around, and I assumed this was the, basically the Explorer. And, well, the rest is history there. So, I got this at an antique store for around 12 bucks of all things. Yeah, 12 bucks. So, that's kind of a deal to it. The uh, There's also the hook. little hook of all things. The Phillips screwdriver. The flathead screwdriver. And, of course, a can opener. With the weird little notch on that one. A magnifying glass. And, of course, a pair of scissors. So, the size themselves. So, the size on the little screwdriver or the mini flathead screwdriver is astounding of, well, basically one inch. Meal for the plastic, plastic pick is around about of two inch. The tweezers is around about of basically one three fourths, and of course the I guess the DS tablet, or rather the pen is around about of two three fourths. So that's 
Let these guys nest them back inside. As you can see from here. Meanwhile, for the the corkscrew would be around about of one and a half inch. Meanwhile, for the overall size with it deployed is around about of two quarters. Now the hook itself would be around about of one and a half inch. Now for the overall size, it'd be around about, no, yeah, about two and a half inch. Okay. The, the blade itself, you could probably know, definitely have the Officer Susie with the plus with the umbrella. I think that must be a production number, I guess. It's kind of uh, kind of similar to the Buck 110, where that was a 420 HC, and of course we'll have it backwards Z, which that's basically a sign of you know that's the production number. Yeah, when I get the other 110s, I'll make that. Uh, I'll basically will correct that of all things. You got the Victorinox Switzerland Stainless Rust Furry, so this is a stainless steel blade, which you could probably know. Of course, the can opener is around about of one one basically um, one quarter. You know, for the overall size, it'd be around about of basically four and a half inches. Meal you know, for the scissors would be around about of um, two and a half inches. Mail for the overall size, it'd be around about of six quarters. The magnifying glass would be around about of one inch. Meal for the magnifying glass overall size, it'd be around about of four and a half inch. Meal for the screwdriver, the Phillips screwdriver, would be around about of one and a half inch. Meal for the overall size with the screwdriver would be around about of five inch. And then we get to the the blade itself would be around about of around about of like two and a half inch. Meal for the overall size with the blade deployed would be around about of six inches Let's see. so you could probably know the scales is basically have the the victorinox logo right there on top and of course the boy scout but basically the boy scouts were right there so let's test this bad boy out So the results out there is, man, that's like one strike on that one. I think that was basically a second strike, which you could probably see that one. Yeah, that was not really the deep, like, full cuts, like, you know, like clean cuts and all. Which you could probably see. Yeah, it looked like a mess of all. So that's basically kind of pretty interesting about that one. Um, as you could definitely know for this one, I think during my last, or rather my previous review of this guy, uh, last time I covered this one, I basically know that it basically could cut stuff with it. So, so my final verdict rating on the Victorinox Yu-Yo Man, an astounding of, of an 8 out of 10, kind of had the same rating. It's a pretty not bad Swiss Army Knife. But it actually can be confusing to know which is which. 
because you could probably know for the fact about it that one, probably my last uh, review of this one was basically pretty cap about that one. Like, I think I basically got some misinform misinformation about it. Well, you could probably know that one. So that wraps up of the Victorinox Yeo Man. Ugh. As you could. So that wraps up of the Victorinox Yeo Man. As you can probably know for it. I actually do recommend it, but uh, but this guy's kind of a little rare to come by. So if you find it, go buy it. So I'm Artel Boy, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time.